there are few international students here. So first of all, uh, Assalamualaikum and, and good morning all. Uh, I would like to extend uh, my sincere gratitude, uh, firstly to our honorable speaker today, Associate Professor uh, Dr. Hamdan from uh, University of Malaysia, Pahang, as well as all participants here who uh, generously dedicate uh, your early morning time for attending this talk. Uh, so thank you very much. Or thank you very much. Um, so on behalf of the Faculty of Design and Architecture, UC Putra Malaysia, uh, we really appreciate uh, your commitment and participation uh, uh, in, in today's talk. So for your information, this talk, uh, FRSB Teaching and Learning uh, TNL talk is organized by the Deputy Dean of, uh, of Academic Student Affairs and, and Alumni Faculty of Design and Architecture, University of Putra Malaysia, uh, Associate Professor Dr. Johari uh, here, uh, as you can see, uh, is uh, the Deputy Dean uh, of, of the office. Uh, it is indeed a good effort uh, by, by the office uh, in cultivating uh, intellectual discourse and, and sharing some good practices related to teaching and learning methods that uh, we can learn together. So today we will be listening uh, to the talk that will be presented by uh, Associate Professor Dr. Hamdan from University of Malaysia, Paham. We are honoured uh, uh, to have you here, Dr. Thank you very much, Dr. for your kind uh, commitment and participation. So before uh, starting this session, allow me to uh, read a brief introduction about our speaker today, Dr. Hamdan. Uh, Associate Professor Dr. Hamdan bin Daniel was born in Seramban, Negeri Sembilan. Uh, he holds uh, a doctoral degree in engineering from uh, the University of Western Australia, Australia. Uh, he started his career uh, as a tutor at the Faculty of Electrical and Electronic Engineering Technology at UC Malaysia, Pahang, in 2003, before being appointed as an associate professor last year. He now serves as uh, the dean of the faculty. Dr. Hamdan's research interests revolve around uh, energy research, uh, which include uh, power electronics, uh, power quality and electric vehicle, also known as EV. Uh, exploring his research interest, Dr. Hamdan has published his findings and works in numbers of journals and academic conferences, both locally and internationally. He has received numbers of research grants with remarkable accolades like the Gold and Special Award at the Malaysia Technology Expo MTE 2020, uh, Gold Award at the International Inve uh, Invention, Innovation and Technology Exhibition ITEX in 2016 and 2018, and Gold and Special Award at the University's CTREX Award in 2018. In postgraduate research supervision, Dr. Hamdan has supervised 11 PhD theses and four master science research students. Besides research responsibilities, Dr. Hamdan has been teaching courses related to electronics and energy engineering, such as power quality grid integration, power system analysis, computer programming, and microprocessor. So today, Dr. Hamdan will be sharing his thought on the topic light board approach for studio based teaching and learning. So, without any further ado, Dr. Dr. Hamdan, the floor is yours. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much, <laughs> Dr. Hamdan. No worries. Thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, Assistant Professor Dr. Johari, for inviting me. Okay, so for uh, today's session, okay. I will uh, explain a little bit about uh, how COVID changed our uh, delivery method in our um, teaching and learning. And perhaps I'll show some uh, of the tips uh, on how we at UMP uh, try to sort of like be, be creative in, the, in delivering. Okay, so I'll pop up my uh, slide. Okay. So, um, first of all, I need to ask whether you can see this slide clearly. 
not flip, no mirror and anything. Everything okay? Yes, yes, I can. At okay. least from my side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So this is the first time I'm uh, talking to the design people. So I'm quite, mm. quite uh, uh, gabra, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, I'll start a bit about the uh, how COVID changed our delivery method okay? we mm -hmm. we do not uh, shake hand anymore we okay, sorry for uh, international participate and, but but uh, participant i i designed the slide for uh, malay but uh, i can explain in english as well okay yep, yep, yep. okay mm -hmm. and there's one uh, uh let me stand up i like to stand up yep. all right okay All right, so let's put this aside. All right. <coughs> ah, like that. Okay. So, um, I would like to share one of the uh, points that I uh, realized. Uh, COVID doesn't uh, change just this. Okay? There are studies that COVID change language as well. One of the language is the uh, sign language. Uh, to converse in a digital platform, okay, uh, people with uh, hearing impact, uh, they, they need to change. Before this, uh, for pass, for example, pass is like this like that and for future is like this okay but in terms of uh, video conferencing the message doesn't deliver uh, as clear so they need to rotate their body and okay for past like this this is past for future it's like that so COVID changed so much uh, in our life that uh, some of us doesn't realize and one of it is uh, to transform us into digital uh, transformation. So that's what the, the, the topic is about. Okay, before we proceed, I would like to know, okay, I need you to, to go to this uh, link, okay, or you can scan the QR code to see what is our uh, favorite method of delivering, whether we're using web uh, sorry, the video conference like Google Meet, uh, this, like this, WebEx, or we are using a uh, uh, recorded video. Okay, so go to the uh, Google form and tell me what the, yeah, what is your preferred method. Okay, and then I, I talk about this uh, COVID as the catalyst for ODL, okay? This is a quote by uh, Plato that uh, he said that uh, someday our grand, great, great grandchildren, okay, will uh, develop a new equivalent of classroom, okay? They will spend many hours in front of a box with fires glowing within, okay? That, that fires is the, the light, okay? The light from monitors, okay? May have the wisdom. May they have the wisdom to know the difference between the light and knowledge. So the last sentence actually put so much um, emphasis towards learning uh, to the student side. Okay, this is one of the thing that we as educator need to uh, educate our uh, student. It's, uh, they they don't know whether they then uh, what they see is the knowledge or they need to do some activities to get the knowledge. Okay. So let's see our uh, um, our uh, Google form. Okay. So I put here our Google form. What is our uh, result? Oh, lima orang je isi. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. So from this, uh, we can see that. Uh, okay. Video conference is the most preferred method. Okay. Uh, maybe you cannot see as clear as me. Okay. From five respondent, okay, we can see that uh, we prefer video conference. Okay. If we have to, to choose, we will choose a video conference, Google Meet and such. Okay. There are a different approach actually for this. I'll go back to my slide. Okay. That the, this is the way to communicate with our student, whether we have a good bandwidth and we have to to ask for immediate feedback. Okay, for immediate feedback, it will be this one. Okay, video conference, of course, it's good to have video conference because it uh, deliver as much uh, content as we want, uh, audio, video, and everything. And then we get immediate feedback as well. Like this, I can ask the moderator and the moderator can uh, tell me in real time. Okay? Yeah. While recording is uh, here, okay? it still use high bandwidth, uh, slightly low actually, uh, compared to video conference, depending on the, the uh, uh, internet speed that you have. Okay? Uh, but then it's low, okay? we cannot get immediate feedback so i'll uh, highlight here okay these two different methods the uh, recording and the uh, video conference okay video conference uh, actually cannot deliver very high quality except you are on the paid account like google meet okay google meet we limit our uh, video feed, okay, for uh, at seven hundred twenty pixel. So our our uh, video feed will not be as good as what we want. Uh, but for screen sharing, it's okay. Screen sharing, it use a uh, low uh, frame per second, but higher. Um, higher, higher pixel. Okay. While recording, okay, we can get a uh, high quality, and especially for recording, it's not as uh, favorite to the lecture because it's not easy to do this. This is very different from what we are uh, normally do. Yeah. Okay. Because we need to to design the, the the flow. We need to make it short. We need to talk fast. Yeah. Things like yeah. that. Okay. What in between? Okay. Is actually the future. Okay. Last year, you remember Singles Day, uh, eleven November. Okay. Last year, remark that our sales for the future e-commerce will depend much on the live streaming skill. Okay, <clears throat> Alibaba use uh, uh, live streaming, uh, Bedo use uh, live streaming as well, Taobao. So live streaming is uh, one of the methods that we can deliver high uh, quality content okay it's still on sort of like real time but it got delay about two seconds to 10 seconds okay the difference between live streaming and uh conference is live streaming is on the presenter at centric we are presenter that control uh so much while for um uh, for video conferencing uh audience can interact uh as well the audio of audience can interact as well okay for live streaming our audience will interact just by using comment okay okay uh okay go for now the audio yeah. okay 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 all right <laughs> all right for your for your uh information okay right at this time 
I'm actually live stream this this uh, video. Okay, so I'm talking to you, uh, the participant, uh, using the uh, WebEx as video conference. But at the same time, the whole this whole thing that I'm presenting, not the not the WebEx, the the one from my video and my audio, is live stream on my YouTube live. Okay, uh -huh. so I am. Okay. So okay, this is a, a, a good video that it has to be uh, helping. Okay, helpful. It has to be uh, simple to understand, uh, short. Okay, specific. Uh, it has to be attractive, and then high quality. When I say high quality, in technical term, okay. High quality in terms of uh, the content itself is the knowledge, the knowledge inside. But uh, the technical wise uh, is this, okay? This the audio. Audio is the most important. Audio is crisp, okay? And then your um, slide is uh, easy to read, okay? You've got good lighting, okay? Uh, like myself now, it's not so good. I, I reduced one of my lighting. Okay, yeah. but uh, it's okay. And then this uh, high resolution um, camera. Okay. Okay, through, throughout the video, uh, you can ask as well. I can uh, uh, answer. Okay. So previously, it's about a uh, good video. Right now, it's a uh, pengajaran here teaching video okay video for teaching we need to have this uh instructor presence instructor presence is uh one of the most important aspect in terms of learning and then for learning okay for learning we need to have learning uh activities okay this can be exercises okay so I do this last uh, semester actually. Every uh, of my video, I will follow up with quizzes in uh, Moodle. Okay. At first, I'm afraid that student will give a negative feedback because student doesn't like to be assessed. Okay, but turns out they okay with this as long as the quizzes. Uh, uh, teach them as well okay so for this if you have um, uh, exercise after every uh, lesson okay it's good to have this immediate feedback so i put the feedback inside the uh, question because i've been teaching power quality for uh, for 10 years so i know where student make mistake so instead of just uh, give a random number for a multi-choice question a b c d i choose the the uh the one that student make mistake most and then if they choose that i immediately tell them no you're wrong you're wrong because of this 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 you should that you should do that this 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 okay so it, when we're doing that, okay, the assessment become the learning as well. So they, they appreciate that. They actually put on the, um, after the end of the semester, they have to put comment to every lecturer. So they tell that, okay, quizzes after every lesson is good. So yeah, don't be afraid to do that. It's good for uh, learning. All right, so. This is the uh, step to um, to make a video, okay? From I put six step. It start with our nawaitu, what we want to. We are educators, so we want to educate. So ikhlas your heart, and everything will go well, okay? And then you need to design, design the uh, experience we need to to put ourselves in student shoes and then what's the experience that they will go through they will see this picture first they will think about why 
and then they will do some exercise on what so we design that first okay and then we prepare here we prepare our a slide we prepare graphic we perhaps prepare some quizzes okay and then we produce okay this is the uh, uh the shooting part okay we go to to our uh webcam okay our uh studio if you have studio may, may i know at this uh, at this uh, faculty record and uh, sydney binet uh do you have uh, any studio or light board already Uh, as far as I know, uh, we don't have it. Uh, am I right, uh, Dr. Jahadi, as far as I know? Unfortunately, we don't. That's why we want to learn from Dr. Hamdan today. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Uh, because, okay. Uh, so, uh, I I designed this presentation to be two parts. The, the Marhain part and then the... the, the <laughs> uh studio part okay because uh without studio we we cannot uh use uh the absence of studio limit our uh delivery no okay before we have studio here at uh, ump where we still have a lot of uh, uh delivery method so uh studio helps us okay but uh that will be on the secondary side okay after I talk about the Marhain part, then I talk about uh, to to the Johari, the one that have uh, uh, some power in decision making, <laughs> power of convincing to get uh, funding. Okay, because it's not it's not easy to get that funding. Okay, all right. Then we produce. Okay, after we produce, then we edit. Okay, uh, this is the part that I think it's so hard for my lecture that I designed the studio okay because the, uh, the uh, when pandemic hit we become so uh, stressed out we need to learn so many things okay we need to talk uh, to camera we need to talk alone to camera that feels uh, insane <laughs> okay but then if we ask uh, for the uh, editing part okay editing part it's become like uh, uh, so demotivated mm -hmm. for many of uh, the lecturers because this part is, is uh, for those who, who already know how to do it then it's okay but for those who need to learn mm -hmm. and you are at, at 45 50 years old okay <laughs> uh, it will be discouraging okay so that's why i made the studio and then uh, the last one uh, uh, is to to deliver to broadcast. We mm -hmm. can choose uh, many platform, okay. But I suggest to use uh, YouTube. Okay, the QR code there is uh, my uh, video on last year. Yeah. Okay. So just a quick uh, talk about uh, four methods to make. Uh, video good okay uh, engaging for student first the signaling signaling is something like this you can go and use laser pointer okay or you can just pinpoint like that okay so that signaling as well or you can uh, write yeah, so if I use this I can write okay that signaling Okay, I can uh, make some uh, box. Okay, so that's give more uh, engagement to the learners. Okay, segmenting is uh, cutting your video into small pieces. Okay, so that student will uh, focus on the content. Uh, and you can do this uh, in many ways. Okay, you can make different videos for different topic or you can shoot a, a longer video let's say 20 minutes and then you segment it using chaptering in youtube okay all right winning 
Reading, reading. Let me use a uh, highlighter. Now I use highlighter. Okay. I'm using signaling. Uh, uh, using highlighter. Okay. So, uh, mana ni? Tak nampak ni. Ah, this. Okay. Number three. Okay. Reading is uh, to remove all the distraction. Okay. Actually, green screen. The what I'm using now, this is green screen. Okay, uh, you cannot see because I already uh, take it out. But green screen is one of the way to remove the distraction. Remember, uh, our mentri uh, tell us about uh, COVID uh, last year, but everyone talk about the collection on uh, the 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 all the collection by uh, uh, this uh, this uh, menteri okay ada kapal ada apa people talk about that distraction that people <laughs> doesn't know okay if you uh, if you tell if you ask what is the content at that part uh, they don't remember but they remember the the, the distraction yeah. okay matching modality matching modality is to Use audio and visual, okay, um, uh, at the same time, okay. So this is one of uh, the way why this is very good for for learners actually. Uh, why we like this because this is the conventional method that we we are used to when we learn from our uh, uh, preschool, okay. Because when teacher write on the whiteboard and then talk about what uh, uh, what uh, she's been teaching uh, that's actually engage mm -hmm. our brain more so this is a uh, four thing that we can do to make our video more engaging when i talk video i talk about the three three all three aspects whether it's recorded video it's uh, uh, video conferencing or it can be live streaming as well Okay. okay, this is a uh, normal workflow for uh, making video. Okay, remember the, the sixth step. Okay, this is the four plan, develop, produce, and editing. Okay, the editing part is actually very long. Okay, to make a high quality content. And I like to shorten the workflow. Okay, you, you. Some of you might watch this uh, series, Mandalorian. Uh, Abang Jo, tengok Abang Jo. Tak tengok lah, boss. Mandalorian. Uh, I I don't watch Mandalorian. Uh, uh, like like really watch, but I know the 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 technology inside. Mandalorian doesn't use green screen. Okay, we are using green screen to filter our our set so that we can put uh, content like like this okay this uh, uh, like sky okay we can put sky using green screen but Mandalorian doesn't do that Mandalorian use TV here this is very big TV it's a high quality high resolution uh, LED uh, like uh, in, in, in circular motion Mo not motion in in like like uh like circle okay so every part is uh, uh led so they don't use green screen they plan first so they put what they want okay i we want to have this uh sky so they put the sky and then the actor sit in the middle of that circle and then just <laughs> keep shooting okay one of the good thing about this is it shortened the workflow okay it shortened the workflow so that they don't do post editing as much and second part mandalorian actually has a very shiny armor okay so to edit the the reflection on the armor is very tedious work if you're using green screen so if they use this they just put one light there and then that light will shine on the armor and this represent the fire so they don't have to edit anymore 
Okay. So this is the uh, workflow that I try to bring into the uh, education uh, content creation, like what we are doing now. I want to short the workflow, but of course, we don't have this, this uh, heavy budget, okay? Uh, we, we are using green screen to shorten the workflow to cut the post editing part. Okay, so I take a look at several type of studio. The movie production, okay, actually can give very high quality production. It can be used by uh, a lot of people, but there's no way it can do a one man operation. One man operation, why one man operation? Okay, I put this uh, four as my criteria for making a studio. It has to be this four. High quality, one man operation. It can be good in summer. It can be used by uh, a lot of people. And then last one, it can shoot and upload. Okay, very little post editing. So I, I see this movie production studio, uh, uh, not good. Okay, uh, it's a high budget and the quality is uh, overkill. Uh, but then it cannot be uh, shoot and upload, okay? No movies, uh, you can shoot and upload. Okay, typical lecturer, this is our video conferencing. Uh, it can be used in one man operation. It can shoot and upload, okay? But only that person know how to do it, okay? We don't share our laptop. And then uh, the content is not as high quality. Okay. YouTuber. YouTuber studio can give you very high high quality content. Okay. It can be operated by uh, one man. Okay. Uh, but then it cannot be used by anyone else. Okay. If you walk into a, a YouTuber studio, uh, the chances are you cannot operate as well as he do it. He know that the, the 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 exposure number he knows uh, which uh, might connect to what uh, if there's something happened he is the one that know how to troubleshoot so it cannot be used by a lot of people and uh, normally they don't shoot and upload they shoot and then they edit okay heavy editing and then then they upload streamer studio on the other hand can do this streamer don't have to uh, edit because they, they can edit but normally they just stream live okay so they tick quite a lot of box okay but then uh, they cannot be one man operation normally a streamer that have a very uh, high number of follower they uh, have someone else to take care uh, the broadcast, they have broadcast crew, maybe they have some um, uh, uh, audio man, something like that. Okay, there are streamer that operate one man, I know that, but uh, not as much. Okay, uh, but then uh, it cannot be kuna sama. All right, MOOC Studio, we have our MOOC Studio. Okay, MOOC Studio tick quite a lot of box, okay, but then uh, it cannot be. Uh, one man operation now. Okay, let me talk about one man operation. I shoot uh, a video of uh, an Ustaza that have uh, quite a number of followers uh, on her Instagram. Okay, so she uh, is very experienced in talking to camera, but when she wants to start, she asks, oh, Doctor, Doctor, boleh keluar? Yes, I use orang. Something like that. Same goes to most of us, our lecturers. Okay, most of us doesn't feel comfortable if someone else sit on the room while we want to try and make so many mistake. So that's why I put one man operation as a critical factor to make a studio. Okay. So after I take uh. YouTuber setup, streamer setup, and mood setup. I decide uh, to 
have our own studio that have this. Okay, it can shoot and upload, but it yeah. Uh, if you shoot and upload, you got only four out of five uh, in my uh, ranking. Okay, you can edit uh, a little bit, but not using any uh, video editing software. Just using YouTube. Upload, then edit using YouTube. Okay. So from the, uh, from the, the conventional workflow, now we shorten this editing process. Okay. So if you compare between the two, we cut the editing process from this point. So we cut here. Okay. At the expense of, you need to plan a little bit more. Yeah. You plan and prepare a little bit more. Okay, because here I can decide what I want to tell. For example, okay, I want to talk just like this. So you can see my green screen. Okay. And then I want to talk about the setup. Okay. So this is the setup that I have. So to plan this, I need to come one day earlier to arrange. Okay. So this is uh the television that I'm used for, uh, for uh, feedback of my presenting. So I can go to the slide or this one is from my um, camera uh, of my camera uh, my phone. Okay. So I can use camera for my phone. Okay. So that I can walk around. Okay, you can you can see me. Okay, right now I can uh take off my uh green screen and I can show you all around the studio what we have. If you want to ask anything, I'm open to any question. Okay, so back to uh, my slide. Okay, so uh, uh, give me some feedback. Are we still on? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, yes, okay. Yes, all right, yes. right, thank you. <laughs> all yes. right, all right. Okay, so this is a little bit of what uh, uh, we've been using, okay? Uh, talking head is actually uh like uh like the one that I'm I'm doing before. My head is very small around this part, and then a lot of this is slide. Okay, recorded uh slideshow is a very uh easy uh workflow just using Microsoft uh, PowerPoint, and this is good. If you have this, then it's enough. Uh, screencasting, you can uh, cast using Camtasia, screencast on my team, or you can use OBS. Okay, scribbling, you need to have a uh, touch screen, uh, like, like my laptop here is touch screen, so uh, I, can, I can write, I can do uh, something like that. Okay, or if you have, I know a lot of you already have this uh, uh, drawing pad. You can use this uh, to scribbling drawing tablet. Okay, this is from uh, Huion, not as expensive as Wacom, but they use the uh, uh, same technology. All right, so you can use that, no problem. Or if you have uh, iPad, iPad is good um, uh, because with iPad, then I'll show you one of the use of iPad. Okay, all right. This is the usage of iPad. So I can, yeah, I can do like this. Okay, using pen. Okay, then I can just tell about my uh, studio. Okay, or the what the topic here today is about lightboard. So I can tell you now how to uh, make lightboard. 
Okay. So for light board, um, what you need is a glass. Okay, one glass. Okay, and then this glass not need to be lit. Okay, you need to put light using a LED strip. So using LED strip to give light to the uh to the to the glass and then you sit behind the the glass okay behind you okay they need to have a black background it's good to have uh something like a cl uh, like close like close okay uh, or if you if you have paper, you can use paper as well. Okay, right. And then you need to have a camera. Okay. Just like that. Okay. This camera will give uh, output, uh, but then you need to flip the, the output. Okay. You need to flip the output. And then you bring the output into your computer and then you can broadcast. Okay, so this is uh, how you uh, use a uh, light board. Okay, no time then. Can I ask yeah. a very simple question? Okay, okay. Uh, the glass is it a, a typical glass or is it a special glass or any glass? Okay, good, good question. So, uh, we go to a uh, light board now. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll show you our setup. Okay, this is me and my friend, uh, one of the teacher, uh, Cikgu Khairi Azim. Uh, we are using uh, acrylic right now. Uh, not right now, at this time. This is at June last year using acrylic and it's a table mount the size is uh, four times three okay and this is what i'm using now in my studio uh not acrylic it's a tempered glass okay uh clear glass okay and this is a uh, five times four clear glass is not what i want Okay, what I want is one of a special glass called Starfire or low iron glass. But at this time, we just uh, uh, close to the end of our PKP. Uh, I cannot get the stock for this uh, uh, low iron glass. Okay, clear glass is the only one that we have in Kuantan. So we, we uh tempah and then uh yeah it's become what 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 we have now you see this uh this writing it looks green right yeah. okay but actually this is white this is white color ink it become green because the glass have green tinting Okay, so uh, the glass is already green. That's what uh, not so good about clear glass. If you can opt to uh, star fire glass, low iron glass, then it will be better. The white become white. Then you can use a lot of other colors. Okay, right now, if I'm using uh, like red marker, it's not become red it becomes something else like close to brown okay so uh, i'll show you later okay now we talk about light board okay i need to do something on on this uh computer okay uh, you can see actually uh what i'm using for my uh my uh, setup this is uh, atom software luma luma 
full. Okay. I'll show you something. Okay. All right. Okay, that's my light bulb. Nampak eh? Yes. <coughs> yes. Okay, that's my light bulb. Uh, this is the camera that... Uh, okay, this is the camera that uh, I've been using uh, for our feed just now. So for light bulb, I'm not using different camera. I just rotate the camera to the light bulb. Okay, so now if I go back to number one, okay, let me change this. Okay, so uh, and then we need to adjust the exposure. Adjust the exposure to, for me, it's, uh, the exposure is at 11. Okay. So you can see me now in front of my light bulb. Okay. Boleh nampak? Yes. Okay. So I take some of the marker. Then I can draw. Okay. So this is uh, uh, the, the light bulb. Um, what <coughs> we have now is we can control the light bulb. Uh, we can control our slide and then combine our slide with our light bulb. This is uh, what we, uh, our stage now. So I open my slide. Okay. And then, okay. All right, you can see this, right? Yes. This is my slide before. So, uh, then I can take, talk about Lightboard now using Lightboard approach. Okay, so in my hand, there's a presenter that I will use. Okay. Macam tak wapun cantik ada punya ni. Tak apalah. Maaf. Okay, I'll show you uh, why it doesn't look as good. Okay. <laughs> Before this, I'm using a uh, totally black color uh, clothes. And that's why it doesn't look as good. Uh, gray uh, is much better. Okay, talk about the... the construction of light bulb. Uh, first, you need to decide whether it's uh, on stand or it's on tabletop. Okay. Remember the, the slide that I have before. It's on. Uh, oh yes, this slide. Okay. Remember. Uh, the uh, the, no, the, the time then. The time then. Sorry. The time then. Sorry, Mr. I think your mic, uh, you left it uh, on your jacket, I guess. Yeah, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Betul, betul, betul. Ah, baru clear. Clear, <laughs> clear. Ah. Okay, okay. alright. So, on the left is a tabletop. On the right is uh, using stand. Okay. Uh, tabletop uh, is not as sturdy as a stand. And actually, if I want to uh, recommend, I recommend uh, stand all the way, okay? Because you need a study uh, like this. This 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 is our our uh, glass. I can put on the glass. I can I can punch the glass. It will be okay. It is using stand. The one that we have before, uh, using this. Uh, Acrylic, it's not so good. It's it's uh the melendut melendut under bent. Ah, 
Bend. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's bended. So if we want to write something, then it's become hard. And the thing when using acrylic, you need to be careful when you want to erase. Erasing uh, our ink is actually not as um, easy as using whiteboard. It's actually quite hard. Okay. And if using acrylic, you will uh, just make a lot of scratches. Okay. So that's about uh about mana tadi. Okay, this construction. Okay, so you need to decide whether it's tabletop or stand. You need to decide whether it's acrylic or glass. Mm. I recommend glass. So I can, if I want to uh right now, so I recommend this. Okay, stand, and I recommend using glass. Mm. Okay. Using star fire or low, low iron glass, okay, both are same. Okay, you can you can refer to uh, this. Uh, this is the one that we are using. Okay, this is clear glass. It have green tinting. Okay, if you can opt to uh, star fire, go for star fire. I think at KL there's a uh, 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 company that gives star fire. But not in Kuantan. So, yeah, lucky you. <laughs> All right. Then uh, LED strip. Okay. So, LED strip, you can put LED strip uh, in this uh, setup. Okay. All right. Nampak, nampak kan? All right. Uh, kita pergi belakang sikit supaya. Tak kacau. Uh, ah, ni lah. Ni tak kacau sangat. Okay. LED strip, you can put uh, on the left and right. Okay. Or you can put on the top and bottom. Or you can put all uh, edges. Okay. Like what we have before. This, this setup, it's all four. You can see it's everything uh, on the edge is lit. So we put on all four. Okay, for this one, just top and bottom. Okay, uh, we are using uh, aluminum frame. Okay, uh, uh, steel uh, steel frame here and aluminum profile for uh, for handling the 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 glass. The glass is tempered. Okay, we are using ten millimeters. Uh, you can use uh, smaller as well, 10 millimeter for five times four is very, very heavy. So we need to have a steady uh, frame. Okay. And then uh, what other part? Pembinaan LED strip. Okay. Okay, I'll show you my... Tak nampak on sini ya. Okay. All right. So I'm still at my uh, light board, but right now I want to show my light. Okay. This is my lighting. First, you need to have a good camera. So camera that I'm using now. This is a camera. We we you need to have a low light performance uh, camera. So we are using APS-C camera. The, this one is Sony A6400. You can use any uh, APS-C. It should give uh, similar output. But uh, you need to have a clean HDMI out camera. Okay, balik pada ni lah. Cantik. Okay. All right. So you need to have a, a first camera uh, has to be low light performance. Okay. Then you need to have a HDMI clean HDMI out. Oh, okay. 
Okay, clean and smear out. And then you need to have an autofocus. Okay. If you have this, then it should be okay. So, uh, you can use a uh, camcorder as well. Okay, uh, video camera. They usually have clean HDMI out and they have autofocus. Okay, but the cheap one doesn't have a uh, low light capability. We have tried actually using uh, our cheap camera and then it's become so grainy because this is dark, so grainy. Okay, so you cannot use that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so after you got camera, you need to have marker. So this neon marker, any any neon marker will do. Okay, and then you have a light. Okay, I have one on my right, one on my left, and it's it's good to have another one on top. Okay. Uh, okay, the background. We are using just uh, kain, yeah. All right, black it has to be black, and then you got to have mic. So this is the mic that uh, I'm using, wireless mic. You can do wired mic as well. A wireless mic uh, is good to move around, but then you need to take care of the battery. We have problem before when our studio been using by one lecturer at uh, evening class four to six and then he forgot to turn off the mic and then the next morning the lecturer that come at eight cannot use a uh, mic so you need to take care of mic if you are using a wireless mic okay so uh, some policy or somebody need to take care, to take care of the uh, charging of the mic okay another part is uh, led tv LED TV is to give you feedback of what uh, you are seeing, what the audience uh, are seeing. Okay. And then, after you have all this, the uh, uh, feed from the camera need to be flipped. Okay. Because we, uh, if you doesn't flip, then uh, all this uh, writing will become the uh, body. Okay. So you need to mirror using mirror, uh, just a mirror. Remember when I tell you that this is our glass, okay. Oh, tak nampak situ, sini lah. Okay, let's say that's our glass, okay. The professor sit here, okay. And then the camera will shoot from this direction, okay. But instead of shooting directly, you put another mirror. This is mirror. Okay, at 45 degree. And then you put your camera here. So it can give you reflection. Okay, so if you, uh, this is very conventional method. Okay. Some of the university uh, are using this uh, uh, setup. Okay, so you don't have it, uh, to use any other software or hardware to uh, flip your your feet. Okay, and then you can use OBS. If you don't want to use mirror, you can just put the camera from this direction and then rotate, uh, not rotate, flip the image uh, using OBS. Or you can use scalar. Scalar is... Uh, one device okay that have this uh mirroring uh capability okay uh the one that we are using this now we are using uh scalar okay all right okay and then okay let's talk about pre-shoot okay after you have your light board constructed uh, and then you uh, have all the equipment, then you need to prepare. Preparation for light board is essentially, uh, it's not hard, but you need to think through as well. Okay, for example, your clothes, okay? This clothes of mine doesn't have any wood, okay? If I uh, have some, some wood, then the wood become um, flip, okay? So, you cannot have any word. Okay, you need to have a 
quite plain looking uh, clothes as well. Okay. For example, if I stand here, okay, this writing of mirror is still visible. But if I uh, are wearing some uh, like uh, baju batik, for example, <laughs> then it's not as clear. Okay, the, the color. Okay, we try different color and actually I like uh, gray, uh, denim color and uh, pink black and for for uh, our uh, female lecturer, pink blushan looks very good when you are using this uh, light bulb. Okay, camera, I already tell you, it has to be out of focus. Face tracking is good. And uh, manual exposure, okay, this is important as well. You need to uh, control the exposure manually because this is very dark. If you step out of this, then the exposure keep hunting. Framing. Framing is actually to know your boundary. Okay. So before uh, I start my class, I actually know the edges of my uh, feet. So after you set your camera, you uh, can do something like this. So let's say, okay. All right. Okay. And then I know this is my other boundary. Okay. And this is my the other boundary. And the last one is uh, here. Okay. So I will not write outside of my boundary. This is very important so that uh, the student uh doesn't tell you say <laughs> like that. okay and then uh lighting you need to adjust your lighting okay uh i'm quite dark skin so actually this lighting is not uh as good uh reflection adjustment okay this is important because you need to, to turn off certain light in your studio or else you will see something <sighs> Something like this, okay. Actually, if you take a closer look, you can see what's inside my my studio. Especially if I'm not adjusting the 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 exposure correctly. For example, okay. Let me put uh yeah something like that. Mm -hmm. So you can see the reflection of the camera here. Can mm -hmm. okay. nampak Yes, yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, you can see uh, at the table, there's another tripod. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this uh, reflection need to be taken in, uh, into account. Usually, you can reduce this by uh, reduce the exposure. Or you can reduce the light in your studio. I don't like a very dark studio. So I'm tuning the, the studio for, for just uh, F11 here. F11, tak nampak. F11. Oh, F13. So that's uh, that's F11. So if you ask me, in this uh, in my setup now, I'm using F11, ISO 3200, uh, and then shutter speed at 1 over 100. So this is my setup for my uh, APSC uh, A6400. So you can start with this and then uh, tune uh, according to uh, your uh, ambient. All right. Uh, if I'm using that uh, green screen, I change this into 5.6. Others stay the same. One th good thing about uh, Sony camera is it's become so good even at uh, ISO as high as this uh, 3200. Okay. Reflection is audio test. Okay, audio test. Audio test. Uh, we have experienced just now. I forgot to, my, my mic on my jacket. So then uh, do audio test before you, you shoot. Okay. Okay. One thing is rancang shoot supaya tak perlu padam. Erasing the ink is not as uh easy as 
uh, what you think usually. I'll show you why. If I erase this in the middle of class, I try to erase. Okay. I need to really push. Okay. Really, really push. Okay. If some some uh, of the participant might say, oh, "Okay, just spray some water." <laughs> okay. All right. I'll show you what happened if I spray some water. Okay. So once you spray water, it become like this. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's why when I'm uh, using Lightboard for my class, I don't uh, I don't erase. Okay, I plan the class for one hour using this frame. Start from here, up down there. Start from here, up down there. I uh, just leave the middle for uh, our face uh, to be seen by the student. Okay. Uh, so for this one, uh, it's okay, just <coughs> but uh, because we have some water, then it's become harder. Okay, so that's why it's good to plan so that you don't have to erase. Okay, uh, but yeah, it's okay. It it worth it worth it worth it actually. When you're doing class using Lightboard, student actually like you very much. They can learn uh, a lot. They can learn, uh, perhaps, uh, yeah, very, very good. I, I experienced a very good uh, grade from my student, and then they, they actually can score higher. They, they put a good feedback as well. Okay. Um, okay, that's about like what? Apa lagi? Next, pre shoot. That's pre shoot. Okay. Mid shoot. Okay. So you need to talk to the to the lens this is normal our new norm and then you need to i put the jiling jiling tv because <laughs> if i just okay this is my uh, self look at my television when i talk so you don't get much engagement if i talk like this so you need to just jiling so i jiling down there and then i talk to the camera so that i can engage with my participant well, okay. After you uh, this, uh, after you shoot, then you can do some editing if you want to. If you don't, uh, then it's okay as well. And then don't forget to 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 erase all the ink, uh, because uh, it's not as easy as uh, as uh, like a uh, like whiteboard. Okay. All right, then you can do uh, your next stage to combine your light board with your presentation. Okay, like this. Okay, so this, uh, if you have this, then everything is just up to your own creativity. Okay, the, the, uh, the trick is to design the slide uh, to be uh, black in background. If you have slide black in background, then it should be okay. You can do animation like like before. You can do uh, this uh, presentation, okay? And uh, this type is animation, okay? The key to this is actually to use uh, something like a green screen. The term to remove green screen is called a uh, chroma key. I think some of you might know. If you have green screen, then you use something called chroma key. Chroma key is good to remove the background that green or blue uh, for our video feed. Okay, video feed. But slide. Slide cannot use uh, uh, green screen. If you use chroma key for slide, then you remove a lot of colors. What left is just 
uh, yellow and perhaps a very light tint of blue, something like that. So to uh, do this uh, mix between slide presentation and light board, okay, so for slide plus light board, you need to use another type of key that's called Luma key. Okay, chroma key remove the color. What color you want? Luma key remove the darkness. That's what happened now. So this slide actually have a rotating image of a blue flower, and this is uh, bright. Other than this, is dark. So Luma key remove the darkness. Same goes to my logo here. This logo here is actually using a uh, Luma key as well. Okay, so Luma key is good for graphic, static image, animation, not for video feed. Chroma key good for video feed, but not good for uh, these uh, images. Okay, for example, uh, hold on. Uh, for example, okay, okay, I can use uh, my slide to tell about the uh, channel solder. Okay, kacau lah pulak sini. Hold on. So I don't, I don't design as well. That's why it's become like that. Okay, now it's good. Okay, so I can use this slide to tell my student what is sinusoidal waveform and how we convert this waveform into polar form. So some animation is easy for you uh, because for uh, like this one, you can pause and then uh, talk. Dah sampai terima kasih Okay, okay. Uh, it's okay. Then uh, I can. I don't know how to pause. So <laughs> I think okay. We come to the last slide. Is actually the yeah, yeah. yeah, slide, yeah. and I open for any uh, comment or any question that you want to ask. 